Hello, Christian Vetter here. Almost every time I go to the pool, I see at least one group of people trying to compete to see who can hold their breath longest. And today I'm going to tell you six tips that will help you hold your breath longer than your friends. This video will not be about how you can train yourself to hold your breath for a very long time, but it's six tips on how you can hold your breath longer without any practice. There's a link in the description below where I show these tips to my girlfriend and you can see her improvement. Before we get into it, remember you should never hold your breath underwater alone and at least one in your group should stay with his head above the water so to see that everyone is okay all the time. You should also never hyperventilate before holding your breath. Hyperventilation can cause you to not feel when you need to breathe and because of that you might pass out and drown before you feel the need to breathe. Okay, so here is six tips on how to hold your breath longer than your friends without any practice. One. Don't eat right before you're about to hold your breath. I like to recommend not eating at least four hours before holding your breath. Digesting food uses energy and when you use energy, you use also your oxygen. Two, go to the toilet before you're going to hold your breath. You may not feel the need to go, but keeping it in does use energy. Three, be as relaxed as possible. Don't move around, just lay and float in the water with your head down as relaxed as possible. And try to feel that every muscle in the body is relaxing. Try not to think about anything when holding your breath. Thinking uses energy. Four, warm up. And then I don't mean swim the laps, do the slide, run around and jump from the diving board. Let your friends do that. And while they are doing that, you should relax and warm up your lungs for about 10 minutes. You can do that by breathing for two minutes, then hold your breath for 30 seconds, then breathe for two minutes, Hold your breath for one minute, breathe for two minutes, hold your breath for 130, then breathe for two minutes and hold your breath as long as you can. You are now ready to meet up with your friends and see who can hold their breath the longest. Do not warm up in the water alone. Do it on land if you're alone. Remember, never hold your breath in water alone. It's very dangerous. Number five, when you're ready, tell your friends, let's see who can hold their breath the longest. One person should take the time and at the same time see that everyone is okay all the time. You should offer to take the time the first round. That way, while you're taking the time and watching that everyone is okay, you can do your final preparation. You breathe in for four seconds and out for eight seconds. Do this the entire time while they are holding their breath. This is also the way you should breathe during your warm-up exercise. Then, when they're finished with their first round, you are ready to hold your breath. Number six. The time take a friend should count down from 10. While he's doing that, you breathe out all the air in your lungs and then take a deep breath as possible and put your head underwater and then win the competition. They will be impressed with how long you can actually hold your breath. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video and consider subscribing to get more underwater videos. Have a nice day.